Welcome to the Movement Center and welcome to the Office Series, an innovative idea where we've compiled a series of videos showing you how to self-manage and self-treat common office injuries that we see all in the comfort of your own office. Oh, and move like you mean it. All right, guys, welcome to episode three of the Office Series. We are tackling from the top of the body down some common issues that we see, and number one, complaint of our office folk, headaches. All right, so Brittany, unfortunately, here sitting here with a headache right now. One thing, if you're getting headaches at the office, you want to look back and make sure how you're sitting, look at your mechanics, right, how you're doing that all day long. One big thing people forget about is lighting and eyes, right, our eyes. If you're not seeing things well on your computer, you're going to be really sneaking in forwards and really jamming out some of the joints in the back of your neck. That can create a lot of issues. So just something to keep in mind, we're not just talking about, you know, physio today, or kind of self-help, we're always going to look at the whole, the whole person a little bit. Now, for our focus today is how to manage yourself in the office for headaches. We're going to do more local treatment, but keep in mind that you always want to make sure you're looking at your lower back, your upper back mobility, because if you're stiff through here, you're going to be driven forward into this kind of painful position of your neck, which we'll cover in some other episodes. But for today, we're talking about relief techniques and self-management techniques. So without further ado, let's get into that. So if we to Brittany and right. bring her over here. And she shows us kind of laptop position. So you can see she's at a bad laptop position. I have her too well trained. So she's here, she's forward, she's looking up, she's looking at the screen, and is really jamming up these joints. So they're suboccipital muscles, and they tend to get really jammed up and sort of irritated kind of in, in this position. Right? So what we want to do is open up that whole area. So the step number one is we're going to use double the cross balls, and I've just kind of shown you guys how you can duct tape these guys together using athletic tape or, or duct tape, whatever that might be, throw them in a sock. This can be two tennis balls. You can also buy a device like this as well um, from the store or make it yourself, either of the two. So bring it to her office. She's working out or hanging, working hard. What we're gonna do is take this, dig it into the back of the, 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 the kind of base of the neck, or sorry, base of the head where it meets the neck on here and dig it in, hold it up with your arm. So I'm pulling forwards. And from here, I'm gonna tuck my head down and let this dig into it. So we're gonna have Brittany grab onto this. So you're gonna sneak it in. So she's putting it in right at the base or behind the base of her head. Perfect. She's gonna dig that in nice and wonderfully. And she's gonna tuck and go full tuck down and up and down and up. Not just bending, she really wants to kind of tuck and open up that back piece of the, of the neck a little bit. And that's what we're gonna go for. Perfect. You go through these reps, feel it open up, and feel that good stretch start to come into this. You can also do this against a wall at the office as well to really get a good a bit more pressure or on the ground. Uh, but most of us don't want to lay on the ground at the office. So this is a good place to start is, is from a seat position. Once you've loosened that up, we then want to lengthen these muscles through. So what we're going to do is something called the armpit stretch. Make sure you're wearing deodorant for this. And just grab on with your hand to the back, top of your head like this. Perfect. And she's going to pull towards that same side as her arm is and dig in towards her armpit. So you're pulling yourself down to get a good sniff of your armpit. So she's coming here. You want to be a little bit more angled that way. And she's pulling down. You should feel that stretch pick up along the front on that open side of your neck down towards the shoulder blade. The muscle we're trying to target goes, well, the suboccipitals up here as well as the base of shoulder blades. So if we take Bernie from the back, whoop, is come here and go back down, bring that down. And she should feel a nice comfortable stretch with this. Next stretch is you want to hold for about 15 to 20 seconds. Accumulate about two minutes a day doing that, but don't hold it for too much longer than that. Uh, and definitely don't get lightheaded or wonky. All right? Should be comfortable. Now, last but not least, it's going to be something we call chin tucks or turtles. And that is, is just trying to get yourself back into a better position, especially if you're somebody that spends a lot of your day like this. So what we're going to do here is just focus on pretending that you have awesome, perfect posture and getting yourself back in a tall position and just oscillating in that position. You're going to feel silly and exaggerated, and if you do, you're doing it right. So if we bring Brittany here, perfect, and we have her come back and bring her chin back, and she holds that and comes back out and back. What I don't want to see, guys, is this. I don't want you guys bending your necks like this. What we're doing is trying to open. Imagine there's a pivot going through your ears, and you're pulling back and opening. You should feel a bit of a stretch at the base of that neck. So those are our three. Number one, balls into the back of the neck. Number two is hold that armpit stretch like this. Number two, and number, sorry, number two. And number three is getting into this sort of chin tuck opening position to activate all that fun stuff. Cool? Cool. And last but not least, don't forget about that other stuff down below. It's all, all pretty important here. 
guys have any questions, leave it below. If this stuff's not working, you're not feeling helpful, make sure you check in with the healthcare person you trust and get the stuff looked at, right? But this is a way to, place to start. Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, move. Like you mean it. Like you mean it. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah.